Greetings everyone, Archimedes here, and welcome back to, no to another brick-filled LEGO video. And today, we're going to be talking about feet. Uh, thankfully, we're not going to be talking about my feet. Today, we're going to be talking about alternate feet, joints and designs for robots and mecha. I have observed the LEGO Master Builder galleries from some time, and also just looked at a lot of various people's models. And I've noticed that the biggest difficulty that anyone has is with the feet. Either we spend too much, too many bricks on other amazing parts of our robot, or simply too tired and want to be done. Unfortunately, feet are an incredibly important part of a robot. For bipedal designs, the feet have to withstand the, withstand the entire weight of the robot and keep it balanced and secure. And so, for today, we're going to be taking a look at some foot designs that I've used in some of my models, or just have come up with for others. The first design is based off of a ball joint, as you can see here. The design looks like this. It's not too thrilling, it's pretty simple, just a basic sideways built a line of bricks with the ball click joint embedded in the center. One foot requires these 11 simple pieces. We have two 1x8 plates, two 1x6 bricks, two 1x2 bricks, one 1x3 brick, one 1x2x1 one by by one angle, one 45 degree reverse, 45 degree slope, and one 45 degree reverse slope. Oh yes, and the ball joint. We'll build it like this. First take the red, first take the 1 by 8 plate, and place one 1 by 2 on the edge here. Place the 1 by 2, 1 by 1 by 2 angle up here. Place the 1 by 6, the 1 by 3, the ball joint here, the one, another, whoops, oops, first the 1 by 2, then the 1 by, another 1 by 6 on top, and we're going to add on this right here, add on this reverse angle, the reverse slope here, and lock the top off with the 1x8 plate. Now, this design isn't that fabulous, but I want to use it to make a point. And that is, simply stacking bricks like this, just like you would build like the wall of a house, can be a great way to shape out a nice looking foot without using too many pieces. The next design uses these click joints, you can see like this, the ones that are designed like this with the sort of foot attached to them. Here's a design that I used, I made, using those clip bricks. As you can see, it's a foot. It's a little more specialized. It has only one range of motion, unlike the ball joints. But, it could be used for a slightly more stationary robot. And I'll show you how I built it. The design uses these seven simple pieces. We have two of these foot pieces, as you can see, and clip bricks that connect to them. We have one, I don't know what to call this in all honesty, one sloping bottom piece? Just, that's what I'm going to do with it. Any real sort of plate, I used this shaped one that I think has some nice look to it. And one, one, one two by three, 20 degree angle sloping brick. The build is very simple. You take the arching bottom piece and attach it to the front of the plate. Then you take the foot plates and put them right here and here, edging up to the bottom of it, as you can see it right here. And finally, you add on this slope right here. And there's your foot. But let's move on, shall we? These are some really simple designs. Now we're going to move on to some more complex ideas. That idea is this. This foot design is for mi much larger robots. And it's based off of a ball click joint, as you can see here. But, unlike a ball, usual designs with a ball click joint, 
It also has range of motion to side to side. This allows for better posing in your robot. So, you'll need these 10 simple pieces. We have one ball click joint, four 1x2 plates, one 1x4 plate, two 1x2s with, hole, with a hole, and two Technic pins. We'll build it like this. First, we take the ball click joint and attach the two Technic pins to the two holes in it, like this. Then, we'll take the 1x2s and take two, we'll stack two 1x2 two plates so they look like this. Do the same with the other one. Then, we're going to take the, these and clip them to the ball click joint and attach it to the 1 by the 2 by 4 plate. And voila! We have a range of motion side to side, range of motion backwards and forwards, and a range of motion turning side to side. Now that's fabulous, but what are we going to do with this? How are we going mount to mount it into a model? I'll just show you one now, idea. This design takes a lot more pieces, but if you have them, I think it looks pretty cool. You'll start out by taking the sub-assembly we had from previ the previous collection, two 1x2 two sideways building flip down the side of plates, one vent or one plate, that's optional, two 1x2 two 45 degree slopes, two 1x2, I don't know, 70 degree slopes maybe, two 2x4 two plates, four or six 2B things, or you can use 1x1s, but I think the 2B things look a bit better, and six 1x2 bricks. If you have them, it's also good to use two Technic stud to axle pins. So let's get to building. We're going to start by taking the sub-assembly from before and attaching the two flip-down sideways building pieces, one on each side, so it looks like this. We're then going to take a 1x4 plate and attach the two steep angles like this. We'll then stack, make a stack of three tubes, attach one here, another stack on the other side. Although, of course, you can use one by ones as well. We'll then put these one by two plates on the top to cap it, like this. And then just let's place the vent here, just to make it look a little cooler. Now, we can mount this to the model using one of the four sideways building pieces, so as you can see, like this. Now, let's build the sides and back of the foot. We're going to start by making four stacks out of these eight one by two bricks, like this. Now what we're going to do is in the reverse side here, we're going to take two of the stud two pin connector pins and stick them inside here, like this. Now, incidentally, this is also a great way to make like a rocket launcher or something, but anyways, now we're going to take the other side and clip it to there, and We'll do the same on the other side. Now, I built the two sides, so now what we're going to do is take this 1x4 plate here and attach them to the one to the 2x4 plate like this. Now, we're going to turn this to the back here and take the 1x3 and attach it fully to the sideways building plate at the back. We'll take this sub-assembly, shoot it down the middle here, and clip everything together, and voila! We have the foot. Now, this design is fine and all, but what if you don't have a click ball joint? Now I'm going to show you a quick way to rework the design using a plain old ball joint. You'll need the sub-assembly of the front of the foot here, two 1x2 bricks, six instead of eight 1x2 plates, one 2x4 plate, and one ball joint. And we'll quickly assemble it like this. We'll sandwich the ball joint between two one by twos and pop it on like this. Now we'll sandwich stack these one more time. And we'll attach them to the back here like this. And like this. Attach the plate at the back. And now 
you have a ball jointed version of the first foot design. Now, all, all these feet are well and good, but they all are designed for medium to large size robots. What about smaller robots? Now I'll show you a very quick design for smaller robot feet. First of all, let me tell you without hesitation that this is not exactly the best. It's a very simple design using a rocking plate and a clip brick mounted on top of a little foot shape. It's almost more animalian than robot. I'm not going to tell you how to make that particular foot design because it's not that fantastic, but I just want to show you the basic idea. The foot uses a rocking plate with a clip brick on top of it that allows for range of motion side to side and forward and backward, which leaves you great options for posing and for stability. But what if you really don't have any pieces left? Well, here is my simple solution for you. As you can see, it has a very limited range of motion. The leg can only rock from a 90 degree angle down to about 45 degrees. But it's very simple to build. It doesn't look that bad. And it, it was a good design if you have absolutely zip left. You'll need these basic pieces. You have two 1 by 2 by 4 plates, two 1 by 2 plates, one vent, that's optional, one 1 by 2, one 2 by 2 brick, one rocking plate, it can be either a single rocking plate or the double, whatever you prefer, one 1 by 2 angle, two one by one angles, one two by two one by one forty five degree angles, four one by ones, and four one by so, two. Shall we? We're gonna start by taking one two by four plate and attaching the two by the two by two brick to it and the two by two forty five degree angle plate on it, like this. Then we're gonna take and make us two stacks of the one by one bricks like this, make another stack like this. You can also use those round pieces. I personally think that make, looks a little better, but it's up to you. Then you take the one by two plates angles, put them on here and here. And if you have a flat plate or really anything, you pop it on the front there, just to add a little extra pop. Now let's set this off to the side and work on another subassembly. We're going to take the one by two bricks and we're going to sandwich them with a one by one, one by two plate here, making a thing uh, subassembly like Twice. this. Let's make two. Now we'll take those and pop them on the back here, like this, making a Y shape. Now we're going to take this beam, which is going to represent our leg, we're going to attach this rocking plate on like this. All right. Now we're going to attach the rocking plate to this one by two, the one by two space right there, or the two by two space right there. Pop it across and put the two by four on the back, and voila, we have a foot. And there you have it. A simple brick-built foot design that uses very basic around-the-house pieces. For today, we talked about some alternate ways to design feet for robots and mecha. We had a basic brick-built design using a ball, ball joint as the base. Some more complex designs using clip joints. We had some even more complex designs using a ball joint, or a ball clip joint, and a variant using just a plain ball joint. And we also had a very basic brick built design that almost anyone could build. Before I conclude, I'd like to say a few words on what I'm going to be doing with my channel. The, I will be posting videos every Sunday. For the first three Sundays in a month, I'll be posting Bricks Tips and Tricks tutorial videos that show different ways of alternate uses and other design ideas on a specific theme. This month's theme will be robots. On the fourth week, so that'll be next week, I will be showing a Mayan creation spotlight of a model that I designed, or that someone else designed, that I think demonstrates some of the techniques that we learned over the last couple weeks. And finally, if there's a fifth week, we'll do something special. I'll answer some viewer comments or questions or suggestions or we'll do something else fun. Maybe I'll give a history of the Lego company, or I'll show you my Lego collection, or I don't really know. 
It could be almost anything. But regardless of that, I hope that you enjoyed my video. I hope that maybe inspired you to build with Legos, or just that it entertained you for a couple minutes. Well, my name is Archimedes36, and I'll see you next Sunday.